welcome to this week's Monday Minutes. My name is Kelly. And my name is Jesse. And this week we are going to show you how to customize your menu and your staff client in Koha. Now, if you watched last week, you know we showed you how to edit an item and look for a call number very close to the call number you are creating in that item record. And at the end, we told you we'd show you a trick for call number browse in this week's. So we're tying it in. Mm -hmm. Kelly, let's show them. So we already set this up just so you know that call number browse we can add right at the top of our staff client. And this is driven by a system preference that maybe you didn't know existed. The system preference is called intranet nav. Now, if you are not familiar with um, intranet type system preferences, if we're dealing with the staff client, the um, system preference will be starting with intranet. If it's something that we're focusing on the OPAC, it will be OPAC. So intranet is the staff side of this. And then we would also have an op other OPAC kind of like customizations also. And if you're not doing a search over on the left-hand side in the tabs, those will be right underneath searching, mm -hmm. like where you see serials and then staff client. So those will all be labeled intranet. Yep. So this one would live under staff client. It also tells me that here, that is a staff client permission preference. Sorry. Okay. So this does require some HTML, but it's it's actually super easy, really easy, how we're gonna show you how to do that. We really just need to make sure that we start with this LI. I believe that means it's a list, mm -hmm. if you know, Jesse, yeah. Yep. Then we are going to do the URL that we're driving the um, link to. Um, this is to that plugin launcher. So if you're not familiar, I will add this to the blog post. But there's other ways you can use this. I mean, maybe your staff uses Amazon or a, the ticketing system for for Bywater. Mm -hmm. I've even seen people do use it to link to like frequent reports that they run like every morning rather than having them scheduled. They just want to come in and manually run it. You can even link it to a report or an order in acquisitions. Anything. I've I've seen a lot, I've seen this used in various ways. I was thinking maybe it would be nice to have it to system preferences for people that are always going in there. It's a couple yeah. clicks to get in there. So um, you have lots of, lots of flexibility here. Um, after the URL, then you're just gonna put a text, which is what you want it to display as the text for that link. And then you're gonna close it all out. So you started with an LI, you're gonna close with an LI. You have an A in there, you're gonna close the A and we'll put this entire formatting in the blog post. Perfect. Now, Kelly, give us a quick browse of how this actually works. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and click my call number browse. And I have this little like um, option. So let's see if we have anything in the FIC AB section. There we go, just like we saw last week, but instead you can kind of just do it without even cataloging. Awesome. Awesome. We did have a question, um, I think in, the, in Slack earlier this week to talk about branch libraries and if we could reduce the call number browse by the, the branch you're logged in as. And Lucas said that was possible through jQuery. So thanks so much for watching our Monday Minutes and asking questions. Wonderful. Okay. All right. Well, have a great week. Thanks. Have a great week.